After the historic debut of mangrove meat in Singapore, have you ever wondered will this soon to be the future of a food industry? Hey there, my name is Wani and today we are here to talk about meat, the culture meat. So what is culture meat? It is also known as lab grown meat or in vitro meat production that doesn't involve the killing of animals. So the next question will be how it was made. The simple answer to this question is cells. And to be more specific, scientists use stem cells. So what is stem cells? All living things, including us, human beings, our bodies contain stem cells. They are just in rest the whole time, unless there are tissue that need to be repaired. For instance, if our finger got cut, these stem cells start to proliferate and specialize into specific tissue, for example, skin tissue, muscle tissue, or fat tissues, after they are signaled or being supported by nutrients to do so. And therefore, with a similar concept, scientists use stem cells to create muscle tissues either in petri dishes or in bioreactor if it's in a large scale. The main difference here is that instead of them relying into internal blood serum, an external nutrient such as animal serum or fungi media is being supplied to them so that they can take advantage to proliferate and differentiate into specific cell types. But the next question will be, why lab grow meat? The direct answer to this is because it's sustainable. What I'm telling you that most of our crop production is used to feed livestock animals instead of human beings, and imagine if this production can use to feed countries that are more nourished, wouldn't that be better? According to World Wildlife Fund, around 15% of world habitable land has been converted to farming land. And from there, the 3% of agriculture land worldwide is used solely just for livestock feed production. So how let grow meat play a role in solving this issue? A study from Oxford University found out that cell-based beef could use or save up to 95% fewer global greenhouse gas emission, 98% less than use, and up to half as much energy as compared to farm-based beef. In short, the let grow meat seems like a promising alternative to solve climate crisis for meat eaters like us. However, the strongest barriers to this growing alternative will be the social acceptance, mainly due to its unnatural characteristic as compared to conventional meat. So for you who are watching this right now, will you consider to take in or even try let grow meat for the sake of our environment? That's all from me. Thank you so much.